Hey everybody, it's Julie here, also known as Mrs England's Emporium. Welcome back to my channel. I am a reseller, if you haven't been here before, and that means I basically sell all this stuff here. And I make a profit and that's my job. That's how I pay my bills, that's how I support my family. And yeah, that's how I make a living. So, this video is my August sales video part two. So let's see what I got for what items, how long it took me to sell them and how much I paid. Also, if you would like to support my video, please give it a big thumbs up as I really appreciate it. I'm also trying something a little different at the end of this one. So I'm hoping my video, my mouth will be in sync with my voice at the end of this. I'm trying different things at the minute on my YouTube to try and make it better. So bear with me. So watch to the end to see if that works. Also, if you haven't subscribed, please, cons please consider doing so because it really helps me out and it's free. And like I always say, if I annoy you too much, you can always unsubscribe. It's fine. And my buy me a coffee link will be in the description. Anyone who sends me a donation there will get a shout out in a future video. And there's also a super thanks. Thank you for everyone that has done that so far for me. So without further ado, let's get into the sales. Right, so let's get into it. This Betsy Johnson purse I've had about eight or nine months. I'm pretty sure I paid around £3 for it and it sold on an offer for £12 plus postage. So yeah, probably won't buy that again. This cup I bought from the car boot. I think it, no, I didn't get it from the car boot actually. I'm lying to you. I got it from a charity shop for £2. I've had it about six months. And it sold on sale when I had a sale on for £11.69 plus postage. So not too bad, but Disney cups, you have to be careful what you pay. This was a pound, this nun's outfit. <laughs> Rob picked me it up from a charity shop and it went outright sale for £7.99 plus postage. I had this about two weeks, if that. So it was a quick sale. So very pleased with that one. <laughs> This companion set I bought from a charity shop for about £3 and it went on an offer for £15 plus postage. I've had it, I had it about six weeks, so not too bad. I think there's a lot of competition for these on eBay though and unless they're some sort of funky style that's vintage and really cool, they don't go too quickly. <coughs> Excuse me. Right, this is part of the massive monster high that I've been telling you about for months on end. I paid £100 for a load of stuff. This went on sale for £21.59. It's just basically some spare heads and wigs and things for the Creator Monster Pack. So I've had them about nine months. This tablecloth, I've had about six months. Paid a pound for it. It went on offer for £10 plus postage. I think the vintage tablecloths do really well, but you've got to obviously make sure there are no stains on them. Which, my other one that I got, I did actually get the stains out, so happy days. This vintage doll I paid around a pound for. I've had it about a week, and then it sold on an offer for £10 plus postage. So, yeah, a nice quick sale with that one. When you get dolls with no clothes, I think, obviously, it devalues them, so watch out for that. Here is the stained tablecloth that I got the stains out of. <laughs> this actually sold within a few days and I got fourteen ninety nine plus postage and it cost me a pound I believe or it might have been 50 pence I honestly can't remember I've actually sold some people I bought a massive bundle of vintage Barbie magazines for 15 pound these sold within two weeks for £30 plus postage, it was a bundle that I put on that had damaged the magazine. So all of the ones that are in really good condition are on separately. This Tiny Tears 2002 doll with no clothes, this sold within a week. Again, I paid a pound for this. I got an offer of £8 plus postage, so I took that and I've had positive feedback on that. So they're really happy with it, so very pleased. These Dun Elm Mill curtains, I've had about nine months. I paid a pound for them. I sold these outright for £17.99 plus postage. I actually had these on for a little more, but I've recently brought the price down. The Buckaroo, I've had about nine months again. I paid 50 pence for it. This is one of my auction items. As you can see, it went for £2.20 plus postage. 
something that I won't be picking up again. Um, I think I need to be more careful with what games and stuff I buy, but you'll see in the next few listings that I've sold that I've got rid of a lot of dead wood that wasn't getting any interest. This is a Tree of Life vintage jigsaw from the WWF before they got forced to change their name because of wrestling. No, actually, wrestling changed their name because of them. I'm getting it wrong. With a jigsaw roll puzzle. This was free. It was given to me by my friend Lisa. So, hey, Lisa. Went for £99p plus postage. Here's some more Monster High stuff from that same bundle. This went on an auction as well. £6.06 £6 plus postage. Very pleased to see the back of this. This was just a load of odds and ends that were in the bundle of stuff. And, yeah, probably could have got more for it, but wanted rid. We'll never buy these dolls again. I thought Disney toddler dolls would be really desirable. I paid a pound each for these. I am actually in a loss with these. But overall, with everything, I'm not at a loss. So I'm quite happy to get rid of them. They're taking up a lot of space. I've had them way over a year. Went for 99 pence on an auction plus postage. These Baby Alive dolls as well. This is the story that I need to tell you all. The woman that bought them and didn't pay and wanted combined postage, I would have got more for them in the end. So a lot of you were right. I should have took that. Anyway, put them on auction. Two of them have gone, one for 99 pence to different buyers, I will say, and one for £1.20 plus postage on each. You can't write it, can you? You can't make it up. You cannot make it up. Anyway, I've learned a valuable lesson there. Maybe I should have accepted the combined postage. Never mind. Anyway, they're gone now. This was a personal sale. It was one of our faulty PS4 controllers. They're all pretty faulty, to be fair, but this was the worst one. Um, Went on an offer for £9 plus postage, and this went within a week. It was a really quick sale, so worth looking out for these, even if they are faulty. Then I sold this Donkey Kong Game Boy Advance game. I've had this about a year and a half, but I got it in a bundle of DSs, which I did really well out of. So this went for £10 plus postage. Yeah, not a quick sale, but it's a tiny game. So, you know, you can't grumble having to store that, can you? Unlike those dolls. So these weren't getting any interest, which I was really shocked about. Vintage um, mixing bowls, I think are really cool, but I sold this one on auction for £3.20 plus postage. It started at 99p and there was quite a fight over it, so it was quite exciting. But yeah, I'm glad to see the back of that because again, they took up a lot of room. This countdown game actually went to the same person that bought the mixing bowl and they bought this outright for £19.43. Don't judge the prices, people. I don't even know how this has happened. I think it's the eBay recommended price. But yeah, really pleased with that. I've had it about eight months. Um, Yeah, I knew it was a good one. Ha <laughs> ha! The coat that Rob said I shouldn't get, and I thought I should, and I did. Eight pounds I paid for this about three weeks ago, and it went on an offer. It didn't actually go for £39.99. It went for £31.99 on an offer. So I don't know why it says that there eBay sometimes decides to put the original price on when it's been paid, but really pleased with that. Here's the other um, mixing bowl. This is um, a Mason one. It's it's a really nice one, but unfortunately, again, just didn't get any interest. So I had this on an auction and it went for £5.50 plus postage. Pleased to get rid of them because, like I say, they're a pain to store and I always worry they're going to get chipped or cracked. This Wallace, this was an actual leather coat, not a fur leather coat, and it did say that in the label, so I can't get in trouble. I paid £3 for this about four months ago, and it went for £25 and a penny plus postage. That was an offer, obviously. I think they rounded it up to 30 This Simpsons Universal Studio Donut Cushion, or Plush, this was a pound. Um, I've had it about four months and it went on an offer for £14.99 plus postage. So I would definitely pick these up again. They're quite fun. I've still got the Duff Beer one, so watch this space to see if I sell that. The Disney Infinity figure bundle with the game I had as part of a massive Skylander bundle that I made my money back on over and over again. So this is all profit, £12 plus postage. Pleased to see the back of them. Again, they were a bit of a nuisance to store. 
these dolls were all damaged so I lotted them up I've had them on my eBay for well over a year decided to stick them on auction they went for 99 pence plus postage so glad to see the back of them they are the last lot of a load I got at a car boot I basically bought a massive lot of uh, reseller at the car boot and they're the last lot to go this was three pound about a year ago at a charity shop it was a cancer research i remember buying it and i took an offer of 15 pound plus postage on this so again glad to see the back of it so this jacket ugh. I bought this by accident this was a pound i've had it about eight months and it was really badly like torn and the hems had come down and everything so i took an offer of five pound plus postage on this because i was pleased to get rid of it for that this vintage doll i had about a month and i paid a pound for her she went for 15 pound plus postage on an offer so again really pleased with that i love picking up old dolls as we all know <laughs> This sewing basket, bit of a bust. Don't think I'll buy these again. Vintage sewing baskets are really cool. I really like them because they're old. They remind me of my grandma. But yeah, not something I'd pick up again. I think I paid 5 99 for this. No, I didn't. I paid £2 for this one, but it went on auction for 9 99 plus postage. This Cynthia Rowley wool alpaca cardigan, which I thought would be worth a lot more, I have had for well over two years. And I paid probably around four or five pound for it. And it went on an offer for 12 50 plus postage. This dress I've had for a couple of months. I don't tend to pick Joe Browns up anymore, but I do if it's a funky style. I'm pretty sure I paid around 4 50 for it. And it went on an offer for 14 pound plus postage. So I can't grumble with that when they've got their own shop on eBay. Gina Bacconi used to be a brand that I love picking up because I made really good money on it. Now, not so much. Still worth it though if you can get it at a decent price. I paid four fifty for this. I'm pretty sure about a month ago, and it went for twenty four ninety nine plus postage. So can't grumble at that. This is a personal sale. This is a seven inch single of Inner Circle sweat. A la 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 long. So this is complete profit, obviously, but apart from fees. Got £4 on an offer, plus postage for this. I quite like selling vinyl because it's easy to pack. Although I do worry about it getting there in one piece. Another Monster High doll. This was part of the bundle again. This went for £21.99, plus postage. Um, yeah, they are. these are flying out now. I can't wait. I think I might do a video on these separately to show what I actually got from the bundle that I got off Marketplace on Facebook. This was £1.50. It's a Ted Baker black shopping tote bag, one of the plastic ones. This went on an offer for £14 plus postage and I've had it about five or six weeks. That is all. So I'm very pleased with that. This is another auction sale. I've had this about eight months. Um, I'm not buying the more modern My Little Ponies anymore. I'm only going to stick to the Generation 1 because they're special when you find them. Anyway, I'll have paid £2 for this, so I'm out of pocket. Went at 99p plus postage. This dress sold really quickly. I paid, I think it was 5 50 for this about a month ago. That is it. And it went on an offer for £35 plus postage, but it's a lovely phase eight dress. Very heavy, very luxurious, really nice um, textured pattern on it. It's beautiful. So look out for things like that. Again, my little pony plushes. I bundled the three of these up. These went on an offer, actually, not on auction. I had them on auction, but they sent me an offer of one pound, one pence, and I thought, you know what, I'm going to take it. These will have cost me around 50 pence each. So I am out of pocket again, but don't care because they were getting no interest whatsoever. Vintage baubles. Bought these from the car boot about seven weeks ago. Paid three pound for them, and they went on an offer, yes, in August. <laughs> for £15 plus postage. This is why I don't keep things back for certain times of the year because stuff sells all year round. These Adidas Prime Green Bounce sneakers or running shoes, depending on where you're from, went for £10 plus postage and I paid a pound for them about a month ago. I hope you enjoyed that. Let me know how your sales are going. Let me know what you think. I've been auctioning a lot of stuff lately to get rid of a lot of dead wood. 
trying to make space for better things coming up to q4 it's so important to make space for things that are sell for more at christmas and you can make better profits so get rid of your junk auction it off get rid of it um i've got rid of quite a lot of big stuff that has been hanging around for ages but look he's still here <laughs> i still haven't found anywhere to put him but he's okay there for now as long as the moths don't get him we're all good <laughs> say hello <laughs> anyway if you've watched to the end put nice sales julie and a thumbs up and let me know how yours have been going if you are a reseller too if you aren't just come and say hello and tell your friends about me tell them to come and watch <laughs> as always i really appreciate you being here i really appreciate your support and i'm rambling now so i'm gonna go so i'll see you on the next one take care everyone and don't forget be kind Ta-ta!